doing something called Skate the Giant. This is the first annual event uh, in conjunction with Wake the Giant. And what we're doing is having the, the DFC students come down and we're doing a, a professional demonstration for them. Like this is what the Marina Skateboard Plaza was built for to host events like this. And then we're just going to show these kids some incredible skateboarding, some incredible music, and then show them how welcome they are in our community. So uh, we always obviously want them to use the park here at the marina and we knew how now have an indoor park called uh, Cinema 5 Skateboard Park that we would like them to use as well and also provide that that is a safe place for them to come and hang out and just feel included in our community. Have you tried skating before? Uh, no, this is going to be my first. What do you think so far? I think it looks cool. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's uh, great and uh, pretty amazing too for new students that uh, come around here into town. So when it comes to the skating here, um, trying it out for the first time, something you can see yourself uh, doing? Uh, yeah. yeah. I have, like for like a hobby, I guess, yeah. Okay. Yo, who wears a size 8 shoe? Yeah, so we're going to give away some, obviously some very good prizes, but I thought it's something to tie into this event. There's a professional skateboarder from Canada named Joe Buffalo, a residential school survivor. He has a very good story, a documentary that's even endorsed by Tony Hawk himself. And we're going to give away his pro model board to whoever seems the most enthusiastic today about the event. So I think they're going to be very special. And you put some soft wheels on it for the rough pavement of Thunder Bay as well. I think it's pretty cool. I've never actually had like lessons or like... And just like being like around this environment with like cool skateboarders and stuff. It's like, like skilled skateboarders, you know? Being a beginner and like being around that is cool too. I think having these students come to Thunder Bay is a terrifying experience. And just knowing that there's community partners here that are here for them and support them is is a very important and then obviously the festival brings a highlight to that and we're very happy to be a part of that too.